if you enjoyed any of my other artisan decks, you're going to love this one. This one's my favorite, my Ozov or black and white artisan defender deck. Let's see what it can do. Welcome back to Game School Dad with me, Martin. Today we are playing the Orzov Defender Artisan deck in the standard play queue. I'm going to see how many games I can win out of 10, and I'll tell you the results at the end. I think you're going to like what this can do. So let's get on with game number one. Okay, three lands. We can at least play out some defenders. We get another land. We can search for the chaplain. With the shield wall sentinel. Okay, soldiers. Let's hope we can. Hmm. Let's not. We're not going to destroy evil, so let's just leave it like this for now. Oh, virtuoso. Interesting. In a soldier's deck. Okay, and then gibbering barricade. Next turn, we got sentinel coming out. To fetch the uh, chaplain. Hmm. Okay, they're going to have some trick up their sleeve here. Don't like it. They had something and they didn't use it because we didn't block. Okay, well, let's do this for now. Let's get the chaplain. Next turn, we're going to make four birds. Then we're going to start trying to kill the virtuoso. There you go. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to... Um, Lock with any of them, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to take 10 damage. I know that much. Now I could make the birds, or... I could try to get rid of... Bird choice now. Probably have something to protect it, but the question is, do they have two things to protect it? No. Okay, and <laughs> they give up. You really wanted that. Didn't even get to play a chaplain. Hey, early defenders and some removal. Something. Let's get these out. <laughs> Probably reading it, because most people don't play this. Right, do we have soldiers? Don't know yet, okay. Play out another one. And let's get the tap land out. Play anything. Okay. Fine. Play this game. Okay, so what are they going to have? They're going to have maybe reinforcements. Guessing they're not going to have anything that can block 3-3. Three, three. Okay. 3 damage in for, uh, for nothing. They must have something good for 3. Yada, perfect. Yada is getting killed. I like angels. Angels are fun. Giada's too good. They don't arms. Sorcery speed. Okay. Makes sense. So. Or. I'm going to. Take out as a non artifact. Because there's a chance he might have. Um, Steel Seraph in the deck. If they do. I need to save the Infernal Grasp. Because the. Go for the throat is non artifact creatures and still serve as an artifact. Might not have it, but it's an angel. A relatively good chance to do. 
Okay, three, four, five. Opportunist. And then I think I'm going to attack. He might decide to block. No, taking the damage. Okay. Should be alright here. I've got Infernal Grasp. Take out anything bigger. Ooh, Archangel of Wrath. Perfect. That is getting killed. And let's attack again for three. I don't normally attack with these. Let's attack with both. Don't normally attack with the walking bork because normally we have other things that, uh, that get through the damage, like corrupt or lots of birds. Okay. A plus one counter on it. Life link? First strike. They could have something better. Oh, I'm not going to attack with it. I'm going to do it anyway. Because I can use Corrupt on Elspeth next turn, which I'm not going to like. Really would like to get the birds going, but... Well, I could just hit. What am I doing? Four, five, six. I need four, five, six, seven. Okay. One, one mana short. So let's just attack. One mana short. Yes, I am. Let's just attack here. And get this out. Wait, that's haste. No, that's fine. For a second, I thought I missed out. I thought it was a four, not a three. Okay. Let's get the chaplain going. And we can kill them with corrupt next turn anyway, no matter what they do. Even if they gain a life. Got six damage. Even if they have another one. Okay. Be brave. Mm, give it a counter. Make a token. And although I really want to play this, let's just win instead. Hmm. Would really like to have at least a third land. Very risky to accept it, but let's do it anyway. Okay, there's the third land. Perfect. So, barricade first, probably. Then opportunist. I'd much rather they kill barricade if anything, so put that out first as a target. They want to kill it? No, they got Trespasser, okay. Make sure we cast a spell every turn then. Let's go with a Chaplain first. Okay, now we're making birds. Probably go with an Opportunist next. Okay, interesting to destroy that one. Ah, uh -huh, they're both, okay. Hmm. I think I'll take the uh, damage here to keep the birds alive for now. We're on five. Hmm. We'll go with another chaplain, I suppose. Make another bird. More cut downs. Okay, they have lots of removal. Hey, yeah, that didn't make a bird. Is that not made a bird. Corrupt. One, two, three, four, five. One more mana and more corrupt shield red.
Hmm. You get the mana. Okay. Or five. Let's. Hmm. Okay, let's get out. I'm going to draw more cards. Well, we do want to draw more cards. We want to draw the right cards as quickly as possible. Liliana. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch my things. Sacrifice a creature. We'll discard a card. I'm tired okay. Discarding that one then. Okay. Easy choice. Yes, we're taking damage, but we can do this. It's better than nothing. And we don't want to. No point attacking Liliana. The bird. Well, maybe there is. Let's sacrifice something anyway. I presume. You couldn't Problem is we need to block with it. We need to block both of the uh, trespassers. That's a creature. Well, I'm going to sacrifice that one. one of your friends has to leave. Another opportunist. Another Liliana. Okay, pretty good start there. Let's keep that. Get the ball work out on one. Okay, we have mono red aggro. Okay. So we can go for the throat, but do I want to do that yet? Probably not. Let's put out blight pile. See if there's something better to kill. Okay, it's going to be this kind of deck, is it? Uh, still going to hold on to uh, go for the throat. Make lots of birds next down anyway. Go for the birds this turn. Just because now we have blockers and we might want to go for the throat on whatever they put out next. They have a big creature. Otherwise they might just be trying to drain us out. So I'll just have to kill one of the flame breathers. Yeah, I guess I'll have to kill the flame breather. <laughs> Get as much damage as they can, okay. So, they might have another Phoenix chick. Then again, they might not. See if we can outrace them. I'm going to outrace this, really. So, we can use Blight Pile to do 4 damage to them. And next turn we could do 8 damage to them. Maybe we could. Maybe we could race them. Let's say have a lightning strike or something like that. No? Okay. Hmm. There's a chance. They'll race mono black. Destroy evil. Could. Or 8. Oh, not quite enough damage. Okay. Well, in that case, let's... Keep one back to block something. And we can do eight damage with Blight Pile next. We keep some birds. Then we can do. Oh, it's going to be close. Gonna attack now. They're not going to attack. Okay. I think we have them. Beat mono red aggro at aggroing them. Look at that. 
Blight Pile for a win. Well, at least we've got early defenders. Two corrupts in the hand are kind of useless to start with, but we'll see. If it's not mono red aggro, we might stand a chance. If it's soldiers, we might stand no, we might not stand a chance. We'll see. Got white land. Ooh, it's not soldiers. It's gonna be a virtuoso type thing going on. So then draw cards, make big things. Kill it now. I feel like there's going to be a virtuoso coming out soon that I'd rather kill, but just do that for now. Any other creatures? No. Just counter spells. Counter spell. I'm gonna counter that, are you? No. Good. By the way, more than two lands would be nice. Someone tell my deck. Strike. Okay. Land, please. Thank you. Counter spell. Which protection spell? Probably just protection. Maybe even a fading hope. Okay. Interesting choice of time to use that. I didn't realize what turn they were on. I mean, you know I'm going to block, right? So you can put everything on it if you like, but I'm going to block anyway. Probably better for you to save it. Okay, lifelink. Annoying. I'm definitely blocking it. I can draw a card. Might be able to kill it. Might not be able to kill it. Okay, can't kill it. So, opportunists would be good. Guess I'd be drawing two cards when they kill my next thing. Or I can play this, draw one card. Get eight, not Meryl. Get Chaplin too late. Maybe. Oh, it's definitely going to be Chaplin. Always Chaplin. No attack. So we can sacrifice Bulwark or Sentinel, doesn't actually make any difference. One of them is going down in front of this uh, Twin Blade Geist. Mm. Vigilance counters, yeah. And I'm not taking 10 damage, so... Should I? No, I'm going to chapter next anyway. Not doing opportunist, there's no benefit in taking the damage. I need to survive long enough, make a difference. Or more land would be nice as well. I have some counter spell. If they have a counter spell, I'm not going to be happy. I'll do blight pile and then chaplain afterwards. I do blight pile first. I have a blocker. Morbid Opportunist draws me another one. Might even take a counter spell out of their hand if they have one. Maybe they have a spell, but maybe it's a it's a protection spell. Okay, well next turn I am Throwing the Shield Wall Sentinel down in front of the Twin Blade Geist. Drawing two cards. Maybe getting enough to corrupt. Do I want to try to corrupt while it's high five? Oh, it's a 6-6. Six, six. No, because I don't have enough to actually 
I can cast Corrupt, but it's only going to do enough damage for the Swamp Side Control, so I'm going to do 3 damage. So that's no good. Oh, I'll draw two cards. Make some birds. Go for the throat. Possibly. Right now. Might have another take up the shield. They've used up two. Chance they've got another one, really. Got something. They don't want it to die, so whatever they have, they're going to use. Slip out. Okay. Fine. Just throw a bird in front of it. Draw two more. Might just have to corrupt their hit points rather than taking out the creature. Much better to take the creature out with uh, Infernal Grasp or go for the throat rather than trying to waste my corrupt damage points on them. Cut down is not much good against a giant thing like this. Six. Could do corrupt. I'm going to leave it. Let's make four more birds. Five more birds. Ah, oh, they don't like the birds. Well, <laughs> okay. And we're back after our ten games with the Oars of Defender Artisan deck and we won eight games out of the ten that we played so that's not too bad and one of those was because we didn't have enough land. I think the results aren't too bad. Eight games out of ten with an Artisan deck. No rares, no mythics. Okay so what worked really well for us? Obviously Wing Mantle Chaplain worked really well because we had so many birds. Had one game against an Angel deck that's too long to include in the video but we went all the way down to drawing our last cards because we were making about 15 birds every turn and they were attacking with about 15 angels every turn and it just went on and on. They were gaining life. We were down to one hit point at one point when they were on 60 and then they're back down to 10. It went crazy. It went way too long, so I can't include it in the video. But Wing Mantle Chaplain did a great job there and Morbid Opportunist sacrificing those birds did a great job too. Only thing I think we could probably include in the deck maybe is to change out maybe take out destroy evil for another cut down maybe take maybe have some other early removal we do have a lot of removal and one of the weaknesses against the deck is when we're playing against mono red if they can get a lot of damage in early before we start getting our defenders out and our defenders aren't flying so phoenix chicks come over the top cut down is nice infernal grasp isn't so good because we're losing life we don't want to lose life against mono red because they're going to drain us really fast but we even had one game against Mono Red where we drained them out faster than they could kill us using Blight Pile. So Blight Pile is really good towards the end of the game when you've got lots of Defender creatures out. And you can just tap it and the opponent loses like 10 life a turn. Not bad for 3 mana. Alright, so what can we do with this deck? Can we add in any rares or mythics that will make the deck work better? So I'm going to have a look now, see what rares or mythics I can add. So let's have a look now. And I've got here some rares or mythics that I would add to this deck or at least consider adding. Now there's one easy change I can see. We have Walking Bulwark which is fine in that it can give something haste and it can attack as though it doesn't have defender and assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Okay it's good, it costs 1, it's a 0-3. Well we could possibly swap it out for Concealing Curtains because it's a 0-4, cost 1. And it's black, which is our main mana source. We also have the option of transforming it, which turns it into a 3-4 menace. And we can take a non-land card from the opponent's hand. And if we do, they can draw a card to replace it. So we can take something out that we don't like. But it does stop it being a defender. So maybe we don't really want to 
transform it. Maybe we want to just leave it as a 0-4 defender. But I would probably add four of those and take out Walking Bulwark because the two mana ability for this, I did use a couple of times, but I hardly used it in the course of 10 games. I hardly ever used it at all. I do like the picture as well, and it's the artwork for the thing. So maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is just take out a couple of Concealing Curtains, include a couple of Concealing Curtains, and take out a couple of Walking Bulwarks to make it a bit more equal. There's still options there. I mean, having a 3-4 Menace isn't bad either, but that's a very minor upgrade, I guess, going from a 0-3 to a 0-4. So for the sake of a rare wild card, to be honest, let's leave it out. If you want to save your wild cards, I don't think changing it from a 0-3 to a 0-4 is going to make a huge amount of difference. Maybe we'll leave that out. In which case, there's only two cards I have here that I would consider adding in. The first one is Kaya Geist Hunter. Now, I haven't seen, as far as I can think, I haven't seen anyone use this card ever. Maybe it's really bad. I don't know. Maybe it should come into more than three loyalty. But the best thing about Kaya is that we can... Use the minus two ability if one or more tokens would be created under your control twice that many tokens are created instead now there are times when we get wing mantle chaplain out especially later on in the game where we might make 10 birds five birds whatever it might be if we can make twice as many that's pretty cool so possibly include kaya makes wing mantle chaplain slightly better it's an interesting idea so maybe maybe we'd include it but i think to be honest not really that bothered don't know i think it works better as it is and then the last option i have here is soren the mirthless the planeswalker that can plus one to reveal cards and put them into our hand we could lose life equal to the mana value if we do that but most of our cards are pretty low mana value if we have the life to spare we can do that if not we can just plus one soren anyway we should have lots of birds in this deck in order to protect planeswalkers so planeswalkers should be a good idea and we can make a vampire with lifelink if we're really low on life and need something just to boost us up. But actually, I prefer the idea of having Sorin out plus one until you get to seven. And then you can minus seven, do 13 damage and gain 13 life. It's probably enough to finish off the opponent, especially if you have any light piles that are tapping and draining the opponent as well. So Sorin's good just because it gives us options. And in theory, we should have enough creatures to defend so that Sorin doesn't get killed. So one copy of Sorin in the deck is probably enough. And we'd have to take something out to compensate for it. Maybe considering it can do damage and drain life, we'll probably take out a Corrupt. The Corrupt normally gives us a benefit of doing six damage or so and gaining about six life. But Sorin being able to draw extra cards and possibly doing 13 damage to any target might work out slightly better than the Corrupt by itself. But to be honest, I couldn't really see any other rares or mythics I could add to this deck to make it better. Well, actually, I have one idea. Here's one thing we could add. Why don't we add a shield red? Okay, so we're drawing extra cards. We can gain lots of extra life. And the opponent is not drawing any extra cards. But hey, we're draining them out and making the game last longer. So maybe adding a shield red, maybe two, would work even better. Do we even want the corrupts then? So maybe we take out another corrupt. I like the corrupts in the deck. But I guess they were only there because they were uncommon. So it did a lot of damage. And helps finish the game off. So if we have Sorin and Shield Red, we have all the birds to protect and the morbid opportunists to keep drawing cards. The gibbering barricade can also draw cards. I guess having Shield Red in order to benefit from drawing those extra cards is better than just drawing cards for the sake of it. In fact, there's one more thing I can think of adding into this deck, and that's Liliana. We can add Liliana because if we're drawing so many cards, we end up sometimes with lots of land in our hands that we don't need. So maybe we could put Liliana out later on in the game, possibly make the opponent discard any cards they have left or sacrifice their creatures. Because if we can get to that minus six ability of separating all the opponent's permanents into two piles and they pick one, they could lose half their permanents on the battlefield. And all we have to do is survive three turns with Liliana. So I would love to know what you think. Should I take out another corrupt? Now we have 60 cards again. If we have one Liliana, one Shield Red, and one Sorin, or should we leave the Corrupt in? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are there any other rares or mythics you can think of adding to the Orzhov Defender deck that are actually going to make it better rather than just having more Defender cards? Maybe there are some good Defender cards coming out in the Phyrexia set. I haven't seen all the cards yet, so I'm not entirely sure. If there are, maybe they would go into the deck better than these Planeswalkers or the Shield Red. Anyway, don't forget you can like this video and subscribe to the channel 
for more Magic Arena budget deck lists and economy guides. Thanks for watching this to the end and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.